Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make orange chicken with an air fryer. Orange chicken is one of my favorite American Chinese dishes. And making it from home has become much easier and healthier with an air fryer. No need to double fry the chicken and you're going to love the sweet and tangy sauce. Now let's get started. We'll start by chopping chicken breast into chunks. Slice it into thick strips, then chop it into pieces. I like to keep the chunks thick so that the chicken remain tender after air frying. Next, season the chicken pieces with some salt and freshly grind black pepper to taste. And we're going to squeeze some orange juice. The acid in the orange juice will help tenderize the meat and coat it with the extra citrusy flavor. And then we're just gonna mix it up. Next, we're going to make a batter with two eggs and some cornstarch. Crack two eggs in a large mixing bowl. Beat eggs. Then add in cornstarch. We're going to use about 100 grams here. Start mixing cornstarch with the beaten eggs. It can take a little while to mix it all in, but it's totally normal and just keep mixing and it will eventually mix in. The large clumps will disappear when the batter is ready. Now the cornstarch is all mixed in with the eggs and you can see the consistency of the batter. It's very thick and it's gonna coat the chicken really well. Next, we're going to put the chicken into the batter. Mix well. You're going to really want to get in between the chicken pieces so that the batter covers every inch of the chicken. When chicken pieces are all mixed in with the batter, I like to top off with a little more cornstarch so the batter is more solid for air frying later. Lastly, we'll add some oil on top. Spray the frying pan with cooking oil. Lay chicken pieces one by one on the tray. Coat chicken pieces with cooking oil before sending the tray to the air fryer. Then we're going to set the air fryer on 375 degree and fry for 5 minutes. When the time is up, flip the chicken pieces over. Next, we're going to fry for another 10 minutes. While we wait for the chicken to cook in the air fryer, we're going to make some freshly squeezed orange juice. We're going to squeeze about two full-sized oranges. The freshly squeezed orange juice has a fresh citrusy flavor that's going to make the orange chicken sauce extra tasty. The juice will come out to about 1 fourth cup and that's exactly what we need. The chicken is ready and it's slightly browned on the edges and has a nice crunch on the outside. The texture is very similar to deep fried chicken pieces. Here are the main ingredients for orange chicken sauce. We have soy sauce, brown sugar, garlic, ginger, honey, and white vinegar. I recommend preparing the ingredients before cooking the sauce. Start the fire on medium-low heat. Add some oil, about 2 teaspoons. Drop in chopped garlic and ginger. Fry until slightly brown. Add in light soy sauce, orange juice, then brown sugar, and some honey for the additional flavor. White vinegar. Now we're gonna add a little orange zest for that extra citrusy flavor. If you want a little extra kick for your orange chicken like me, just add a little bit of chili flakes. Now with all the ingredients put in, we're gonna start adding the starch water. When adding the starch water, make sure that the sauce is not boiling to prevent clumps of cornstarch from forming. When the sauce boils, it thickens up as well. Reduce heat to low and drop in the chicken pieces. 
coat chicken with sauce evenly. Now our orange chicken is beautifully done. It's covered in a golden brown sauce and the color is just perfect. You can garnish it with some extra orange slices. The batter of the chicken just soaks in the sauce. It's looking really appetizing and I can't wait to give it a try. So good! It's super sweet and tangy and citrusy. It's so much healthier than deep fried orange chicken. You definitely have to give it a try if you love orange chicken. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you want a printable recipe, it's linked down below in the description box. And as always, hit the like button and I'll see you next time.